This video demonstrates the proper procedure for doffing personal protective equipment for a high-risk Ebola patient used for both the trained observer and the healthcare provider. The trained observer is available to supervise doffing procedure and is wearing appropriate PPE. The trained observer places two doffing mats on the floor of the anteroom and ensures that two chairs are available. The trained observer instructs the healthcare worker to avoid reflective actions that may put them at risk, such as touching their face. Use the hospital-grade disinfectant wipe to clean outer gloves prior to opening the door. Allow the gloves to dry. Use a new disinfectant wipe to clean the door handle prior to opening. The healthcare providers steps out of the patient room onto the first doffing mat. The healthcare provider uses a new disinfectant wipe to close the patient's door. The trained observer visually inspects the healthcare provider's PPE for contamination or tears before the doffing process is started. If any PPE appears contaminated, the healthcare provider will use a disinfectant wipe to clean the area. If the outer apron was used, the trained observer will assist by cutting the apron at the neck and waist ties with a pair of scissors. The trained observer will cleanse the scissors with a disinfectant wipe. The healthcare provider will gently roll the apron on itself and place in the waist receptacle. The healthcare provider removes the outer glove carefully to minimize contact with the inner glove. Grasp outside edge of glove near the wrist and peel away, rolling the glove inside out. Slide one or two fingers under the wrist of the remaining glove and peel away. Place gloves in waste receptacle. The inner gloves are cleaned using a disinfectant wipe and allowed to dry before proceeding. The healthcare provider removes the gown in a manner that prevents contamination. The trained observer will carefully unfasten the top Velcro, followed by the waist tie. The healthcare provider slides two fingers under the cuff of the gown and pulls the hand into the gown. Using the hand that is covered, the healthcare provider grabs the opposite sleeve of the gown and pulls away from the body over the hand. The gown is folded inward onto itself, rolling away from the body until it is small enough to place in the waist receptacle. The healthcare provider sits on a clean chair and removes the knee-high boot covers one at a time by rolling down and outward, lifting the heel first and then the toes. Step out of the boot covers one at a time onto the second doffing pad. Ensure you start with the foot closest to the second doffing mat. Boot covers can be left on the first doffing pad to be discarded later. The healthcare provider and trained observer remove the inner glove by grasping the outside edge of the glove near the wrist and peel away, rolling the glove inside out. Slide one or two fingers under the wrist of the remaining glove and peel away. Discard immediately into the waste receptacle. Both the healthcare provider and trained observer perform hand hygiene using an alcohol-based hand rub. Allow hands to dry completely. New gloves are applied by both the healthcare provider and trained observer after hands have completely dried. The healthcare provider removes the face shield by handling only the rear strap as the front of the shield is considered contaminated. The shield is pulled up and over the head, gently allowing it to fall forward. Place in waste receptacle. The healthcare provider removes the inner glove by grasping the outside edge of the glove near the wrist and peel away rolling the glove inside out. Slide one or two fingers under the wrist of the remaining glove and peel away. Discard immediately into the waste receptacle. Perform hand hygiene using alcohol-based hand rub and allow hands to dry completely. The trained observer loosens the hood ties at the back and gently lifts the hood off the healthcare provider's head and places it in the waste receptacle. 
The trained observer removes the inner glove by grasping the outside edge of the glove near the wrist and peel away, rolling the glove inside out. Slide one or two fingers under the wrist of the remaining glove and peel away. Discard immediately into the waste receptacle. Perform hand hygiene using alcohol-based hand rub and allow hands to dry completely. The healthcare provider removes the N95 respirator by handling only the back straps as the front of the respirator is considered contaminated. The bottom elastic is lifted over the head first, followed by the top elastic. The mask is removed, pulling it forward off the head and bending forward, allowing the respirator to fall away from the face. Place in waste receptacle. Perform hand hygiene using alcohol-based hand rub and allow hands to dry completely. The healthcare provider sits on the second chair and uses a disinfectant wipe to clean the top, sides, and bottom of each shoe. One wipe is used for each shoe, and as the shoe is cleansed, the healthcare provider steps off the doffing pad onto the floor. The healthcare provider removes the inner glove by grasping the outer edge of the glove near the wrist and peels away, rolling the glove inside out. Slide one or two fingers under the wrist of the remaining glove and peel away. Discard immediately into the waste receptacle. Perform hand hygiene using alcohol-based hand rub and allow hands to dry completely. The trained observer rolls up both doffing pads gently to avoid contamination. The trained observer removes the inner glove by grasping the outside edge of the glove near the wrist and peels away, rolling the glove inside out. Slide one or two fingers under the wrist of the remaining glove and peel away. Discard immediately into the waste receptacle. Perform hand hygiene using alcohol-based hand rub and allow hands to dry completely. The trained observer removes the gown in a manner that prevents contamination by unfastening the top tie followed by the waist tie. The trained observer slides two fingers under the cuff of the gown and pulls the hand into the gown. Using the hand that is covered, the trained observer grabs the opposite sleeve of the gown and pulls away from the body over the hand. The gown is folded inward onto itself, rolling away from the body until it is small enough to place in the waist receptacle. Perform hand hygiene using alcohol-based hand rub and allow hands to dry completely. The trained observer removes the shoe cover slowly and carefully by lifting the heel of the first foot and then the toe. The shoe covers are discarded in the waist receptacle. Perform hand hygiene using alcohol-based hand rub and allow hands to dry completely. The trained observer removes the face shield by handling only the rear strap as the front of the shield is considered contaminated. The shield is pulled up and over the head, gently allowing it to fall forward. Place in waste receptacle. Perform hand hygiene using alcohol-based hand rub and allow hands to dry completely. The trained observer removes the mask by handling only the back straps, as the front of the mask is considered contaminated. Untie the bottom tie first, followed by the top one. The mask is removed, pulling it forward off the head, and bending forward, allowing it to fall away from the face. Place in waste receptacle. Perform hand hygiene using alcohol-based hand rub and allow hands to dry completely. The healthcare provider and trained observer sign out in the logbook prior to leaving the area. If your shift is over, proceed to the change area to remove scrubs and have a shower.